everybody, welcome back to my channel and to another video and if you're new here then a very warm welcome to you as well. Now as you can see in today's video we are going to be doing a little bit of a, an upgrade, a tweak to my Grow Hat auto watering setup and I am also going to be playing about with the Raspberry Pi camera to set up a time lapse. So without further ado let's just get straight into it. Now if you don't know what this is and you haven't watched my previous videos I will put them in the card whichever side it is and I'll also link them in the description of this video. I have two previous videos, one setting up the uh, grow hat for the pie and then one adding auto watering. So I won't go into any details about what I did there in this video, um, I'd recommend going and checking those ones out. As you can see my plants are growing, they're not doing the best though. Basically the first lot I planted didn't go very well, the second lot I planted were fine and then for whatever reason the pie froze and it still had the bars on the screen but I didn't realise it had frozen so I was just like checking in on it every day seeing that the bars were there presuming it was fine and then I like didn't look at it for a couple of days and realised that it wasn't working and my plants died. But some of them did survive and they are kind of growing. Like I said this one's needing a little bit of water because I've just realised that the water isn't high enough right now for the pumps to be working. And also I'm going to give some fresh soil in here too because there's still all the old dead plants in it. I kind of didn't think any of them was going to survive, I was going to like replant all of them. But then I left it for a few days and a few started sprouting up. I'm going to move these ones into some fresh soil in this video. I'm also going to maybe going to plant a few extra ones. I also bought some basil seeds that I'm going to put into this empty one here which is going to be the main focus of the time lapse video that I'm going to set up. Now my seeds haven't arrived yet, they are due to arrive in the next hour or so I think. So what I'm going to do first is I am going to plug in my camera, set up the little program for taking the time lapse and hopefully by then my seeds will have arrived, I can replant these, um, maybe give a little bit more life to the current ones that are there, set everything back up and fingers crossed that will be me fully kind of figured everything out and third time lucky for getting these plants to grow properly. So yeah, let's set up this camera. Now here I have my camera, this is the Raspberry Pi camera version 2.1 and I've actually had this for ages, um, I can't even remember where I got it from, I think it might have been given to me a while ago. So yeah, I've just had it sitting around for ages. Unfortunately, I do not have enough hands to be able to plug this all in and film it like close up at the same time. So I will just insert a picture here of what I did. Basically, all you need to do is find the little camera module port on your device. It should be labeled camera. You just pull up the little black clip gently, slide the connector into there and then push it back down and it should clip into place. So I am just going to very quickly do that now, plug everything in and connect to it with my laptop and everything and get ready to do a little bit of programming. Alright, so I know you can not really see, but I have connected my camera, I have configured it in the settings of my Raspberry Pi, rebooted the Pi and taken a little test picture to make sure it works. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, which if you don't already, it's just at Alora J. It's the best place to go if you want to see more behind the scenes and come say hi in between me posting videos. But if you do follow me on Instagram, you will have seen that I tried recording a video just the other week and it involved a lot of screen recording, which my laptop just for whatever reason, had a bit of a meltdown and like corrupted all of the footage and I couldn't use it. What I'm going to be doing today is I'm actually going to be following a tutorial that's on the Raspberry Pi website on how to set up a time lapse. So I'm not really going to go through it too much and also I don't want to risk recording all of the stuff and it not working. So I'm going to go away, I'm going to program everything myself, set everything up and then what I'll do is I will link the tutorial that I've used down below in the description and also I will just briefly go through what I've done at the end as opposed to giving you a kind of live overview of what I'm doing just because I I'm really worried that it's not going to work and so I think it would just be easier to do it that way. So yeah I'm going to go away and do that and then I will be back hopefully with a little time lapse. 
program. Okay, so I went away and wrote the program to take the time-lapse photos. As you can see here, super simple program. Again, I'm just following along with Raspberry Pi's own tutorial, which I'll be sure to link down in the description below if this is something that you want to do. But yeah, as you can see, really, really simple program. I've just adapted it ever so slightly where it's a while true loop, so it's going to constantly take photos until I turn it off, basically, as opposed to just setting a set number of photos that's going to take and then as you can see here we're just importing all of the libraries we need we're setting up the variables it's taking the photo um, the image name is formatted with the number of photo it is and then we're sleeping for 600 seconds which is 10 minutes and I chose 10 minutes honestly because it was just the first value that popped up when I googled how long to take in between taking time-lapse photos of a plant growing so yeah and then while I was doing this my plants arrived so I'm gonna cut to me planting some more seeds I've left the sound on this clip because I think the birds sound really cool. So here's me planting my basil seeds and also I transplanted the growing plants into some fresh soil and planted some new ones of them. They're not looking the best but hopefully they will survive. Okay so I'm just jumping in quickly here. Um, as you will have seen or will be about to see uh, my seeds arrived. I moved my current plants into some nicer soil planted a few more of them and then planted some of my new seeds and then I went to go and set everything up back in the living room where I had it set up before and that is what I have been doing for the last like couple of hours after I was waiting for my seeds to arrive. The cable that I had for the camera just wasn't long enough for me to get a good enough angle where you could actually see the plants in the photos. I'll insert a photo somewhere here of the best I can get and as you can see yeah, it's just not going to work for a, a time lapse, which is what I really want to do. So, what I am going to do is I'm going to order a longer cable and maybe like a mount or something I think I saw. Pi Moroni's website, they have like a tripod mount for the camera so I can get a better angle because I do actually have a little tripod so that'll be perfect. I wish I'd known that before I started filming this video though because it's the bank holiday weekend and so that's not going to arrive until at least like Wednesday. I'm going to leave it there for now for me anyway it's like half seven i literally didn't even realize the time i'm so hungry i haven't had dinner yet i'm gonna go away i'm gonna go and make myself some food i'm gonna tidy up i'm gonna alter the bits that i need and i'm gonna finish off this video so through the magic of editing you'll be transported to the future when i finish this video okay so it's been a couple of days now but this morning my stuff from pi Moroni arrived their shipping is always super fast and they had exactly what i needed which is why i got it from there as you can see, this is normally where I have my plants set up. If you saw the photos and videos previously, usually I have this box on top of the windowsill with the plants above it. Now what I tried to do before was stick my camera to the wall to get an angle for my time-lapse video, but I just could not get it high enough to get an angle to kind of into the pots themselves. As you can see, the cable isn't very long. So I've ordered two different lengths of cable, a 30 centimeter and a 50 centimeter one because I am very indecisive and I couldn't decide which one that was gonna be long enough. And then I've also got this little Raspberry Pi camera mount, um, which is supposed to be able to attach to tripods and I just so happen to have a little baby tripod so we're gonna try setting it all up like it was previously so not on this little footstool thing but attach one of the longer cables to the camera and attach it to a tripod so I can kind of angle it looking into the pots. Um, so nothing is currently set up right now I've just been manually watering for the last couple of days I think I was filming on Saturday and it's currently Wednesday. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna set everything up and see if I can actually get an angle good enough for the time lapse. Alright, that is me finally done. It still took ages for me to try and set it up and get a good angle because um, my Raspberry Pi is just super slow so it's not quite as easy as just snapping a photo and being done with it. 
But yeah, that's everything set up. As you can see, my camera is rather precariously balanced up there to get a good angle. It's all a mess of wires just now. I'm actually moving house soon, which is why I don't want to do anything too permanent. But when I do move, I'm hoping to set up something a little bit more neat and permanent on my windowsill. So if anyone has any ideas of, um, you know, things I could buy or something I could do to make it look a little bit neater, feel free to leave that in the comments down below. I will post the time lapse video on my channel when it is finished. I have been sat in front of this window for ages now and it is so hot and I am really, really thirsty and absolutely sweating, not gonna lie. So I'm gonna leave it at that. If you enjoyed this video and you aren't already, feel free to subscribe down below or come and say hello to me over on Instagram, which is just at Delora J. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.